All right, now for the fun stuff. How am I going to study for this? What am I using? What's my approach? Let's cover that. Let's start with the tools first. If you watched my channel before, you know I always say you need a great video series, a great book, and a great lab to tackle anything in IT. Trust me, it works. For video, I'm using IT Pro TV and their CEH version 10 training. I've got it open right here. So far, been fantastic. And they cover everything you need to know for the CEH. And by the way, they cover all other courses as well. So check them out, link below. For the book, I'm using, well, it's a CEH book and it's got a long title. So I'm just gonna put CEH book here. But I'll show you real quick and I got a link below for this. The CEH Certified Ethical Hacker All-in-One Exam Guide 4th Edition. I'm using this. You can buy it on Amazon, got a link below, or you can do what I do. And I use O'Reilly, which is a subscription service that gives you access to every IT book under the sun, which is fantastic. I've got affiliate links below. Affiliate, what does that mean? It means that it doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you use my link, it does give me a small little kickback and help support this channel. Anyways, now for the lab. The most important part of any IT certification, what am I using? I will also be using IT Pro TV. They do have fantastic labs. Let me show you real quick. Here at my dashboard, I can jump on over to virtual labs and um, they have labs for everything, as you can see. But then here we have CEH, which is what I wanna see. And Ethical Hacker version 10 labs. And look at all these beautiful labs. So let's say for example, I wanted to jump in and do the um, footprinting and reconnaissance lab. I'll launch my lab module. I'll give you a feel for what it kinda looks like. And just within a few seconds, I've got this entire lab I can play with like that. I've got a Windows domain controller. I've got a Windows 7 machine, another Windows server joined to that domain controller, another Windows 7 machine. And then I even have a Linux machine, which I believe is running Kali Linux. And anytime you want, you just launch these labs and you have access to all these machines and you can play around. Sure, you can build your own lab. That's great. I encourage you to do that. But I love situations where they remove all barriers to you learning. It's easy to let a simple issue as building a lab get in the way of learning. If you can just launch something, and be off to the races, straight to learning, do that. And I'll launch the Kali Linux server real quick just to show you what it looks like. It's the Plab K server 01, let's do that. Power on. And bam, just like that, I've got Kali Linux, no sweat. And they give you a lab to walk through, which is really cool. 